What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video and this is just one big thank you to all of you 1,000 subscribers guys. That is just absolutely incredible. Um, I did not think that I was going to reach this point this quick. Um, I mean just think about it. I've only been like really in YouTube since January and it's been what six months now? Maybe five months? And we've gained 1,000 subscribers, I'd say that's pretty good. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys have provided me with the inspiration needed to, to do this. You guys have supported me all the way. And you guys, oh my goodness. Um, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be doing this, <laughs> obviously. But um, if it weren't for your guys' support, I wouldn't be doing this. That's where I really find my inspiration to be able to do what I do and um, there's there's really no other way to put it you guys are my inspiration you guys are the support that I need in order to to do what I do and um, you guys are what's going to keep me doing what I'm doing so uh, guys stay there stay behind me and uh, yeah uh, I'm just so excited for our future and um, yeah so anyway, what I wanted to show you today is um, basically we're going to be doing a recap of everything that we have done since I started YouTube. Now I started YouTube about nine or ten months ago, but I had three months of break, and before and between that, like before January, basically all the videos before that were like they weren't really they weren't really well done, um, in my opinion. At least that's what I think. Um, I feel like I really started in January. That's the way I look at it. Um, even though I did, I did start, you know, in uh, I think it was August, April, August, September, maybe September, something like that of 2014. But I think I feel I really started in January of 2015. And um, but yeah, guys, wow, 1,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Um, that unlocks like a whole new world uh, in the YouTube world for me. And um, for us, in in that sense, you know, we uh, are basically part of a new crowd. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press F1 because we don't need to see all that uh, stuff around. But yeah, just um, it's just amazing, guys. And uh, so for this video, we're like I said, we're gonna be uh, looking over the plots that I've done, the builds that I've done, and recapping sort of like what has happened um, within those uh, several months of um, making videos. First of all, this is Port Haven. Uh, this was actually the first build, my first video that I had put on YouTube. If you watch, if you go back, you'll just, you'll listen to my voice and how nervous I am and how it's kind of like, I, I felt very awkward, like, you know, I'm gonna have to be talking to someone on the online world. Oh my goodness, it's scary. Um, but that's what I feel like I sounded like um, back in those days. But anyway, uh, besides that, it's kind of funny. That's runes there. But besides that, um, yeah, this this was a lot of fun to build, and um, yeah, and this this was basically my Kickstarter to my channel, pretty much. This is what brought people to my channel. You know, this this is what you know, set a foundation to what I planned on doing for my channel as a whole. And this is also my Grand Architect plot. And this is Port Haven. For those of you that are wondering, um, if you're wondering how to get here, by the way guys, uh, cool, cool thing is I am going to be providing downloads to all of these builds. Not all of them. I'm going to be telling you which one that I'm going to provide downloads to, but Port Haven is one of them. So if you want to download Port Haven and see it for yourself on your own single player world or whatever, uh, you can do so. And uh, I have someone that's going to be making downloads of these and uh, getting them all set up. Uh, I hope they're ready by the time the video is set up, but they are going to be there and you guys can enjoy them. And I am really looking forward to that. Make sure that you have fire tick off and um, yeah, so it should be cool. I'm really excited about it. I've been really excited a bit about providing these as downloads, and I feel like that's a pretty good um, reward. I mean, it's about as reward as I can go for a thousand subscribers. So um, that is my my sort of reward for you guys for uh, following me this long and giving me your support. And I just really appreciate all you guys have done. So anyway, yes, this is Port Haven, and now we're going to move on to our next one, and that is Home Two. 
So this is Aldern Hill. This is again another build that I am going to provide for download. Um, this is actually one, this is my, the, my, yeah, my absolute favorite of my builds so far, uh, as far as completed is concerned. This is a 100% completed build, and I feel like this is a real good um, showcase of, you know, what I can do. Now, one thing that I do lack on is um, I do need to do more diagonal stuff. Like, I have been uh, slacking on that. Uh, I just find it more, um, what do you call it, efficient to make all the houses sort of like this, sort of like uh, ge geometric per se. And it works really well in the end for that. But, you know, having some organic stuff would be nice. So maybe in the build after Seabridge, I can go ahead and do that. But yeah, this is Aldern Hill. And if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, go download it. Or if you want to see it on the server, obviously, raven.org and then warp Aldern Hill. But um, yeah, check out the download. Uh, it'll be all, all this will be over on my planet Minecraft. So, um... If you guys want to download it, head over there, shoot me some downloads, and shoot me some diamonds while you're at it, and uh, some favorites, some comments, etc., and uh, we should be good to go. But yeah, there's so much to explore in here. Good luck exploring. If you guys want to see everything, um, I do have a video series that was at the beginning of my channel again, and uh, it walks you through everything that is on Aldern Hill. All the secrets. There's a lot of secrets in this build. This is actually the build that I have the most secrets on. All right, so now we're going to warp. Okay, home three. Home three is actually Gray Ridge. This is our third plot. However, I never finished my video series on this. I had uh, one video out, but I never put. There was supposed to be two more videos on Gray Ridge, but I never put the videos out. Um, but yeah, this is just more of an accolade and something to look back on and see the atmosphere. Um, there is a lot of things messed up per se. Uh, a lot of biomes are screwed up because as you can see, like we'll go over here, you see all these trap doors are that color. They're not supposed to be that. They're supposed to be the normal or the wooden trap doors and same thing with these, etc. But you know what? I'm not going to go through and change them. So um, whatever works now. I mean, the downloads are, are the uh, downloads, by the time the downloads are ready, they're going to be all messed up and screwed up anyway. So, whatever. Um, you guys will just have to deal with the biome issues, uh, but you guys get the idea as a whole of what's going on. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite, another one of my favorite plots. It would have to be Port Haven, I like because of it's nostalgic. It's, it goes way back. Um, Aldern Hill would have to be my absolute favorite, and then Grey Ridge would have to be my favorite according to Atmosphere. But yeah, this is a beautiful plot, and uh, I'm really glad that I actually finished it. However, I never finished the underground portion. If you guys want to see the underground portion, look around the church, and you'll find the entrance to it, and uh, have fun. Alright, so we're going to go home four. What is our fourth home? Even I forget. Okay, so these are all the castles. This is... Uh, Courtier, Redguard, and Wolfang. Um, these are actually two castles that I built on another server, the Duck Craft. Um, but these are, um, I'm, I'm really, I, I just, I'm so glad that I actually built these castles and I was able to bring them over to Raven, you know, because I'm able to showcase them all together in one area. And it really, um, it really sets the foundation because I've seen a lot of people build castles and they, you know, that really helps. Like, when people say like they were inspired to build a castle because of me that is truly inspiring to me because that makes me want to push forward and do even more things like this and uh, I just want to find more ways to inspire you more ways that I can help you move forward in your building um, in your yeah you're in your your building I don't know how to say that but I just hope that I can help you in whatever ways I can but yeah, this is Courtier, Wolfang, and Redguard. So yeah, these are, uh, this is actually my second of my Duconified series. Um, I, I need to do more Duconified videos eventually, but I just need to fly around the server. I'm sure I'll find something that needs to be Duconified, but I don't want to do things too big because um, I don't want to build on plots really anymore. Uh, I'm tired of plots. <laughs> I want to build on, uh, that's why I'm building Seabridge. Is, and that's why I'm actually building it so big, is because I'm waiting on a uh, another map to be um, started or made, 
because um, right now the person that would be making the map um, doesn't have a computer that can handle the power behind making a map like that. So uh, that's the reason why I made the why I'm making Seabridge so large is to occupy me for a long period of time um, until we can finally get a new map set out. Um, and hopefully by then. If not, then I'm going to have to figure something else out. But we'll see. Anyways, yes, this is Court Tier. The one behind it is Wolfang. And the one down there, the small one, that is Redguard. Explore their interiors, guys. All of these will be for download. Check them out. Use them how you want to. But please, 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 please give me credit for them because um, that will help bring pe more people to my channel and um, it'll really help me out in the end. So if you guys want to see more awesome builds, um, just look at it as a way of helping me help you, per se, because uh, I will be providing a lot more stuff for you guys to enjoy. Um, but um, the more support I get, the better things will be, per se. Um, well, not, not really that, but you know, I really appreciate the support. We'll leave it at that. All right, so this is home four. And we're going to go to home five. Um, so anyway, this is the first of my Duconified series. This is actually the King's Sausage. This was my first mech. Um, I, I just like, one day I was just flying around the server and all of a sudden I ran across this and I was in this like steampunk mood. I really wanted to build like a steampunk mech. And I saw this and I was like, hmm, I see potential in this. You, you know, you look at this, you don't see potential, but I saw potential in this. And that's why it ended up turning into this. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, I just really wanted to um, pretty much just change it 100% and make it into my own. And uh, I think it turned out pretty pretty interesting. You go up the butthole and that goes into the, uh, the cockpit here. And yeah, this won't be for download. If you want to see this, you'll have to come to the server and do slash warp mech. Mech is an M-E-C-H, mech. Home 6. Alright, so this is my architect plot, aka Kernsburg. Kernsburg was actually a plot that I had started a long, not a long time ago. It was after Grey Ridge, per se. Um, and this, I had, when I went on my three month, um, like I was three months out, I wasn't able to do anything on Minecraft because I, did, I didn't have any internet access. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so Kernsburg was started then, but then. Uh, I had the three months break and then I came back and eventually I decided that I wanted to finish this plot and this is what it turned out to be. And if you guys want to watch that video series, I do have a architect, architect plot video series set up and you guys can watch that and enjoy that content. I hope you guys do enjoy that content. Uh, but basically the current version of this Let's Build series is Seabridge. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well because Seabridge is no easy thing. Um, it is a huge project and um, it's just little bits here and there showing you what's going on, etc. But Kernsburg, there's so much in it. This, there's going to be a download of this as well. Um, it'll be on my Planet Minecraft. So yeah, definitely go check it out and hopefully you guys will enjoy this and explore through it. All right, so now we're going to go home seven. I think this is my barbarian fort. Yes, this is. This is my barbarian fort. This was actually built a... This was done probably before Aldern Hill and after Port Haven. So this was something that was done a long time ago. So yeah, these style is what I like the most. It's not very detailed. Um, also, biomes are screwed up. These are all supposed to be those little spears coming out of the ground, but now they're arrows because of the biome. But uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. But anyway, you come in here, you see it's just, it's so, it's so empty. Um, originally, this was supposed to be a um, hide and seek map for the Raven server, but it turned out that there was too many places to hide. Like you could come up on here on the roof and hide and it'd just be almost impossible to find people because, you know, if you're going to do a hide and seek map, map the best thing to do is um, try to make it so that the only places you can hide are on the street level or in the buildings, etc. Um, but yeah, when they're on top of the roof, like say if they're up here, like they can hide right there and then it would be almost impossible for anyone to find them. But anyway, yep, but this is the Barbarian Fort. Um, I had built this on Jamzy's map uh, a long time ago, and it looks kind of looks like a heart. A vague, vague portrait of a heart, but anyway. Yeah, so I, I really liked, especially this shape here, I liked that. 
It's very interesting, worked really well. I might decide to develop this style later on and do something with it um, on my, uh, like, what the plan is, is to develop Seabridge into a larger project. Like basically take Seabridge and then place it into another map um, and then the map would be huge and um, the person that will be making the map is planning on making the map huge so just think of something like a Westeros craft map size but um, something like that I don't know we'll see um, that's just like that's just a rumor that's not like set in stone or anything but um, yeah eventually that would be cool alright so now we're gonna do home 7 but yeah okay this is okay we're going home 8 there we go this goes to home 11 so anyway this is Castle Vaughn Keep this is actually my most popular video on YouTube this is something that a lot of people have enjoyed um, apparently um, I mean there hasn't been many people or nobody's really been commenting on the video so I don't really know if they're enjoying it but when they search in small Minecraft castle this comes up and they are able to see Castle Vaughn Keep and hopefully those people that do watch that video enjoy this and can see um, get some inspiration to build something of their own and uh, hopefully it just gives them the uh, a little I'll Destroy this little light here. It's very bothersome. But yeah Castle Vaughn Keep uh, This was definitely a very enjoyable project and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, It inspired a couple people to build stuff kind of like it like small little keeps This is actually another one of my plots. I was gonna build another variation of Castle Vaughn Keep, but uh, I never finished it, so I should just delete that plot. But anyway, Castle Vaughn Keep, it was basically, um, the reason I built this was so that I could build like a, uh, to show that I could build something this small, um, and that was completely functional. Kitchen, bathroom, jail, armory, guards room, um, rooms for the, you know, the family, etc. You know, everything that you would need for a, uh, a house or a keep would be in that so yeah that is what that is all right now we're going to go to home nine and our last place that we're going to be going to is going to be actually my first plot on raven but anyway this is um some another some of more of my first videos on youtube these are a small like medieval house kind of uh like a small medieval house style that i had developed and uh, hopefully you guys uh, were, found some inspiration through this. For those of you that watched me from the beginning, uh, maybe you guys will remember these. But uh, I never did the interior; I just did the exterior. And uh, but yeah, this was a very, very interesting to do. And I, even to this day, I like these. I like the style; it works well. And uh, I might decide again to uh, use this style later on. Um, I, of course, now I would variate it more instead of having it so uh, identical etc but yeah that is another style okay now we're gonna go home 10 so this is my walls plot this goes back to um, towards the beginning of the channel but this is a whole slew of walls that I had created um, to uh, provide inspiration for people to build their own walls uh, basically I started small I had a whole bunch of medieval walls then I went to sort of a Nordic style and then I went to sort of like large city walls and then I went to more of the fantasy walls like an evil fortress wall elven wall um, this is actually one of my favorite walls right here right like that even though it's really nothing I, I really do like this it's very very interesting kind of like a stone base and wood top works really well I have desert walls a Asian or Oriental wall Asian wall, uh, oriental wall, um, stockades, you know, dwarven walls, etc. So if you guys ever wanted to come check this out on the server, all you gotta do is do warp walls, come check it out, or you can just download it uh, over on Planet Minecraft and see for yourselves. So yeah, hopefully that'll help you out. Anyway, now we're gonna go to the first build that I've ever built on the Raven server. Are you guys ready? This is like a big reveal because I don't think I, I I have never shown this on YouTube before, and I feel like this is a um, this is a good thing to show for a thousand subscriber video. This shows how far you can come. And here we are. Um, this was my first build that I have built on this server. As you can see, I I am very I'm slightly embarrassed to be to show this because. To this day, I am like I, I can't believe this. 
back in the day, this got architect. This was an architect um, worthy build. So um, yeah, that just shows how far even the Raven server as a whole has come. Um, but the terrain is flat, the trees are horrible. Uh, I don't even use all sided logs. I don't use much variation for the walls. Uh, the roofs are terrible. <laughs> oh, anyway, but yeah, this is how far we have come, guys. Um, we have definitely come a long way, and with your guys' support, we have moved forward, and with your guys' support, we are going to continue to move forward. Um, so far, you know, in my personal life, it's very comfortable right now. We're doing, like, my wife and I are doing very well. We're um, financially comfortable. Um, we just need to... Uh, that's, that's, you know, it's it makes it easier for um, me to be able to develop my uh, channel and uh, move us along and keep us going. And I really want to keep it that way. Um, and a good way to do that is for support in the end. So if you guys want to support me, please feel free to do so. It'll help me out in the end um, and uh, prepares me for later on in life when things do get tough. But... Um, Another thing I want to say is, um, yes, one, okay, number one, um, for those of you that are just watching this video, Conquest Resource Pack by Monsterfish, that is, this, that is the foundation to my channel right there. Everything that I've done has been on the Conquest Resource Pack, so my thank you and um, pretty much, you know, pretty much everything that I am has been because of Monsterfish's uh, resource pack and it's just incredible so thank you to Monsterfish for creating such an awesome pack if you guys want to support Monsterfish please feel free to go over to his uh, Planet Minecraft and donate to him support his pack diamond it favorite it um, whatever else you can do download it <laughs> I don't care just help him out give him some support uh, number two the Raven server, this uh, Raven, he has um, provided me an amazing place to be able to build on. This server has been my home for the last year and probably six months or so, so a year and a half, probably even more than that, probably a year and nine months, something around that. Um, but it, this has been my home for a very long time. We're just gonna go ahead and speed through the plots and sort of uh, see what's going on. But yeah, um, Raven has been a very faithful supporter to me and has uh, been an amazing um, been an, he's been an amazing influence uh, as far as keeping me going as far as um, you know supporting me in the way of like you know I, I have no desire to take care of a server or to um, to maintenance or do maintenance on a server that's that's uh, a big reason why I appreciate Raven is because he does all that in the background and I all I gotta do is ask him and then he will do what he can to uh, to work on it and do his best to fix any problems or issues that might occur um, so yeah thank you to Raven um, and then uh, I guess first of all I should have said you guys but anyway we're at the three now so anyway thank you to you guys for supporting me for being with me this long for this far helping me to become what I am today and um, just thank you guys for your inspiration for your guys's ideas um, it's like you guys notice that I, I ask you like um, I ask you what what do you guys want me to do for like say this week's tutorial or something I've been doing that more often now by the way guys um, if you guys want to follow me and support me even more, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, those are both great platforms to follow me, see what I'm up to. Uh, I'm going to be uh, posting a lot of stuff. I post a lot already on Twitter. Um, I just started Facebook a couple, probably, yeah, a couple days ago. And uh, so guys, if you want to support me over on Facebook, a lot of you have Facebook, a lot of you don't have Twitter, and a lot of you have Twitter and don't have Facebook. So um, anyway, two, two platforms that you guys can join me on and uh, hopefully uh, get some, um, or hopefully you'll be able to see a lot more of what I'm doing. I'll give you updates and um, show you what's going on. And um, also Twitter, or Twitch, Twitch, yes. 
I stream on Twitch. I stream on Twitch very or not very often, but uh, Mondays and Saturdays are my stream days. Typically, I do a six-hour stream, six to ten-hour stream. Sometimes it's been like, even I've done fourteen-hour streams before. Uh, I do <laughs> fairly long streams. So, if you guys are interested in watching me live stream, that's where you can see the most pro progress for my large projects, such as such as Seabridge. Um, that's where a lot of that will go will happen. But anyway. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, just being there. And uh, hopefully that we will have some more awesome times in the future. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, please like. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe. And until next time. Until next time. One sec. Oh, 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 oh. Till next time.